It's time for Inspiration Vibe, and today we are talking about random acts of kindness. Kindness is just the state of the art, the attitude, loving someone, being merciful towards someone, and showing kindness. So we're just talking about random acts of kindness, you know. And I'm going to read the book of Ruth, chapter 2, verse 8 to 13. It's a long verse, so... Guys, let's go together. So Boaz said to Ruth, my daughter, listen to me. Don't go and glean in another field and don't go away from here. Stay here with my servant girls. Watch the field where the men are harvesting and follow along after the girls. I have told the men not to touch you. And whenever you are thirsty, go and get a drink from the water jars the men have filled. Verse 11, at this, she bowed down with her face to the ground. She exclaimed, why have I, why have I found such favor in your eyes that you Notice me, a foreigner, Boaz replied. I've been told all about what you've done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband. How you left your father and mother and your homeland and came to live with, with, with the people you did not know before. May the Lord repay you for what you have done. May you be richly rewarded by the Lord, the God of Israel, under whose wings you have come to take refuge. 13. May I continue to find favor in your eyes, my Lord, she said. You have given me comfort and I have spoken kindly to you, and you have spoken kindly to your servant. Though I did not have, I, though I do not have the standing of one of your servant girls. This is a story of Ruth and Boaz. If, he, if I can just give you a small background about Ruth. Ruth was a Moab. And he took a mob with his mother, with her mother-in-law Naomi, when when her husband passed away. Okay, they came back to Bethlehem because Naomi was from Bethlehem. So here is Ruth, a foreigner, doesn't know anyone, doesn't understand that culture, doesn't understand the things of those people. Uh, she's a foreigner in a strange land, and she's poor. Furthermore, she was very poor. Remember, I took a mob with nothing. I could just with her mother-in-law. So she's poor, and now she has to work. With, in the land, eh? just to get something to eat. And you know, she found favor with Boaz. Boaz noticed her and Boaz showed kindness. Randomly, I just saw this foreign girl and showed kindness to, 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 to Ruth, you know. So Ruth, Ruth is a, was a Moab, a foreigner living in a strange land whose language and culture she did not understand. But she found favor. Boaz showed kindness towards Ruth. And, and you know, this one act of kindness towards Ruth. Yes, in Ruth, uh, Ruth was made like a, she was made in charge of that place. It was the land they were tilling and everything. She was made in charge of that place. And that one act of kindness led to a very great story, a great story of Jesus. You know, imagine when we may talk a queen, you end up a place where you do not understand. We one region, we another region, you do not understand anything. You have nothing. That's the story of Ruth. The owner of that shamba shows kindness towards you because she has seen how hardworking you are. She shows kindness and makes you in charge of everyone else. That's the story of Ruth. That favor, that kindness, that kindness Boaz showed to her led to a great story and story of Jesus because we know the story of Jesus comes from that lineage of Boaz and Ruth. So you never know what one act of kindness will lead to. You know, by showing kindness, we show the tender mercy and kindness of God. You know, by showing kindness to anyone, that you don't have to know those people, just show kindness to them. Because you know, kindness is Christ-like character. Our God is kind. Our God loves us. Isn't it? Our God is merciful towards us. That's kindness towards us, towards us mankind. Showing mercy, showing love, that generosity, being our provider, being our protector, that's kindness, that's character of God. So God uses us to show kindness to people around us, okay? So how do you generate kindness? How do you become kind? By allowing the Holy Spirit to freely live in you. Just allow the whole, open up and let the Spirit fill you up and kindness will flow from you freely. And you just, be, showing kindness to anyone, you will not struggle with it, you just show kindness. But you need to allow the Holy Spirit to live in you. So we also get to see some example of Jesus. Jesus showing kindness to people while he was, he, he was on earth during the, his ministry time, those, those three years. One of, one of the greatest examples is when he healed the, a person, a man with leprosy. You know, during those times, anyone with leprosy, 
it was an abomination even even to come songelea. Even touching that person, it was an abomination. So these people were really feared. But Jesus touched this man and healed him. That is so much kindness, you know. Another example, Jesus spent time with people who are rejected, people who are despised, people who are feared. What will come go by tax collectors? Hey, during those times, because according to the word of the Lord, that these tax collectors were going to collect tax. If you owe them like 10 Gs, what on Geza 5 Gs on top? Yeah, what we am Foko. <laughs> these guys were very corrupt, you know. So, so imagine when, uh, all those corruptions. So guys really feared them. Because yeah, tax collector is coming their way. Guys just feared. They were really despised. They were really rejected. But these are the people God spent time with. Jesus spent time talking about Zacharias who was on top of a tree. Jesus was like, hey man, sushu ketuende kwako tuka have lunch. Even the Pharisees were really surprised. How? But God, Jesus showed kindness to these people. He went and spent time to them. And you know, when you show someone kindness, they, there's a way they want to reciprocate. Ah, sorry about, I'm forgetting the word. They, there's a way at them, they, they show kindness towards you. They, as in the attitude towards you changes, okay? So Jesus showed kindness to this tax collector. He was like, hey, Mazi, let me just give out my property to these people, to the poor, and if I've ever stolen anything, let me just return everything that I have and give everything that I have to the poor. Because God, Jesus showed kindness to Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus was like, you know what? I'm also going to show kindness to others. So Christ has been kind to us by loving us, by dying for us, by forgiving us, by protecting us, by providing for us. So we need to show kindness also to people around us. Okay? Show kindness randomly. It doesn't have to be people you know. Ati lazima kwe bestako ama msewa familie yenyu. Just show kindness to randomly. Randomly. Not necessarily people you know. Also, it doesn't have that kama msewa mekufanya mabaya pia unamlipisha na mabaya. Kama mekufanya mabaya, mkufanya tu mazuri as in show kindness also to them. Okay? Like, let me let me ask you something. When was the last time ukikitembea tao? Ukona msewa ko homeless? Akuna sikia baridu kampea jaketea kwa kava? Ukona msewa ko nyanja ukampea food? Ukampea 50 bob, maze henda ushikishe chai. When was the last time you did that? Eh? Also, Nimona, in the media recently and even on social media, kuna form one, form one students wanaenda shule, msea natembele, most like over 70 kilometers anenda Maseno High School. I've seen that story. Ametembea 70 kilometers kuenda shule with nothing. And guys came up, guys rallied up, waka changa pesa, waka mfanya shopping, wakamfanyia didi wakamlipia school fees isn't yes, that was so nice but wale wenye our posting with facebook ama wanaweka kwa media house what what happens what happens to them and you know them go go and do something about them go give back give back to your society be kind and show kind randomly si lazima uko namjua ama anatoka your family also i'll tell you a story no remember i remember one act of kindness done to me and also dj nix will share one story there's this one, one, one thing, one random act, uh, or act of kindness one teacher showed me when I was in class five. I had these worn out shoes, yeah? Viatu zangu zilikuwa zime beat. Because guy, let me just uh, admit right now, I come from a very humble background. So, viatu zangu zilikuwa zime beat class five. Adi ni kamatu ni nikuwa na kanya gachini. So, this teacher, alikuwa menda kwa soko, amenua viatu, amenua watuwake viatu, because watuwake alikuwa in this fancy, fancy private school, you know? So akakuja kaniona. I I think this is the first time she saw me with very old shoes. And she took one over one pair of shoes and gave it to me. I've never forgotten that incident. I've never forgotten until today I still have those shoes. As in randomly pick anything. Ile unaenda supermarket unaona a pregnant lady and expecting lady is behind you na unaenda tu unalipa. Guys, come on. Let that lady pass and pay mbele yako and let her be, yeah? Guys, let us just pick randomly and bless us through our kindness. Remember, we are channels and we are vessels. Uh, God speaks kindness to people around us. God uses us to speak kindness to us, to, to other, to people around us. So allow yourself to be a vessel this morning. This 2020, allow yourself to be a vessel. God uses to show kindness to people around you. Praise the Lord. Amen. And that marks the end of our inspiration vibe. <laughs> anyway. Thank you so much for tuning in to JC Sako Show. Today was old school edition and guys were sharing their memories. And I'll share the memory of class 5, I'll never forget. And guys were wearing baggy clothes. Guys were wearing cassettes. DJ Nix was wearing cassettes. And I was wearing cassettes.
Okay, sasa kwa sasa DJ lakini sasa hizi zimerudi sasa ziko form lakini zilikuwa kitambo. Kama this big big azikuwa as digital as this. Yeah. Eh manze alafu kitu moja mimi nakumbuka kulikuwa na story ya kuombana nguo fit ukienda funky. Hapa ni high school. Hai, hiyo ilikuwa lazima. Everyone mwenye ali show those act of kindness, random act of kindness. In fact umesema moja yangu mimi nasema manze. Nimefua tungo vizuri. I was going for science congress. Asubuhi kwa mkia zenye nilifua zikauga pale nje. Mtu akaniwekea vizuri. Okay, shule yetu watu walikuwa na ibiana, walikuwa na ibiana vizuri. So mimi niko hapo I'm doomed manzi najua tu funky yangu naenda kuma presentations na unajua after presentation ilikuwa socialization eh. ah manzi najua sina nguo eh manzi kuna mzee tu mmoja alinikamia through best mm. yangu mm. till today mm. and itangwa fits gerard big mm. shout out to you manzi but they, he might be watching all the way from from london manzi big up to you who mm. alikuwa na come in hand random acts of kindness okay. they never forgotten mm. wale wase pia wa deserve mm. unajua kuna wale unajua unasaidia sababu unajua ako in need mm. lakini kuna mwenye hujui hata shida yake lakini unaona mm. anahitaji mm. yes ukifanya hivyo kwa na bless tu sana memories ni mm -hmm. mingi sana acha ziko mingi sana na pia nataka ku shout out sababu tunamalizia mm. kuna wase hapa hivi anaitwa Masichero big mm. shout out to you Bill hawa amekuwa tuned in from beginning manze pia alikuwa na kutengeneza playlist yangu hapa hivi wakicheka alafu there is uh, Bill Ha Prince Max uh, there is Hype Kid God bless you so much and of course special shout out to Balsi the real Balsi manze mm -hmm. wakiwa pale na Belva mm -hmm. tunawapenda sana JC Sako walianza na sisi kutoka au ndio tunasema ma legends yes legends, yes. legends wa JC Sako yeah. big shout out to you Balsi also yeah. uh, mix mm -hmm. kuja hivi mbele if uh, yes, yes. niki shout out mm -hmm. there is Mary pale nyuma mm -hmm. ya camera mm -hmm. and we had Stella yeah. walikuwa na dance pale wakinifunza moves yeah. yeah. una yeah. za kwenda hivi hivi kuna hivi eh, kuna, 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 hivi hivi slide hizo eh. zikuwa leakage za Stella na Mary walikuwa wananifunza. <laughs> yes. Yes, na pia nataka ku big shout out. Unajua Linda Brand ameuliza hii kofia kama ni old school. Mm. My advisor na my stylist hangu kangi. Mm -hmm. Akijua ni vintage, akijua ni old school Kavinsky the stylist. Akaniambia hii imeweza. Unajua hizi mm -hmm. zinavaliwa majuu. Zilikuwa zinavaliwa majuu. Mm -hmm. Wachana zile za uh, respect and honor manzi tu mze ojuang mm -hmm. alikuwa na vaka kwa fe fulani mm -hmm. identity yako hako ndiyo unajua ni old school lakini hii ni old school pia huko thank you for the looks manze hey, hey. no na hizi viatu kevinsky the stylist thank you manze. so much i was dressed we were dressed mm. by kevinsky the stylist yes. we'll be tagging him on mm. our facebook and instagram page yes, do kevinsky. follow us at miriam and it's called masava at and nix dj and yeah and it's kevinsky the stylist, the stylist. yes big shout out also to mm -hmm. for the latest yeah. looks mm. good looks yeah dafte pale mtandaoni he will look you up kama yeah. unaenda ka event flani mchapi eh, muhimu sana ukijua unaenda ku represent old school yes. amata official mm -hmm. any kind of looks mm -hmm. and thanks shout out to every person when you make, make a production success yes. god bless you so much mm -hmm. dj and cp pia pale mm -hmm. na pia nataka ku shout out nimesahau anaitwa reborn purity amekuwa tuned in god bless you so 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 much na so pia kwa wasanii wenye wote wame stand till today na walikuwa ma old school yes yes hey. tunamalizia na unataka ngoma moja eh hey, ngoma lazima kuna unajua una... kapungala unakumbuka hiyo eh nakumbuka ah alafu eh Hey. Kuna ingine ilikuwa na imbo hey. JC ana bamba hey, It's like Kapungala <laughs> The king of Kapungala Stop that music Stop that Let me show you how it's done Tell him what Let me show you what Tell him how it's done
Mina pena kuwa, mina pena kuwa.